Okay, so today we're going to talk about the scalar product form of the vector equation of a plane. And so we have a plane, and we have the origin O here, and we have a point X, we'll say, on the plane, and it is a distance d way, but I also have normal, a normal vector, that n, that is a unit vector. And so it's perpendicular here. And so ox, ox, is equal to the distance of this vector times n, the unit vector. This is a unit vector, and that's an important piece for later on, is a unit vector. Unit vector perpendicular to the plane, to the plane, we'll call it pi. I also can have a point P here, and P is any point on my plane. And I have here, this is OP, and I'll call it vector R. So OP is equal to vector R, and I also have the vector, I have also, I can have the vector px, which I know px, if I go in this direction, I know it's equal to uh, the distance of the normal, this vector ox, plus r, or minus r. Let's make sure I have that right. So if I start here at p, I'm going to go minus r, plus distance times the normal. That one works out well. Okay, now, so this is true, but I also know that OX is perpendicular to PX because P is any point on the plane, and so the dot product must be zero. Well, from here, if I do some substituting, I can say that OX is the, nor the unit vector times its distance, dot dn minus r. That also equals zero. Now the scalar product is distributive, so I can say dn dot dn minus dn dot r equals zero. Well, if I consider this, this is the same thing as saying d squared n dot n minus dn dot r is zero. But if you remember, n is a unit vector, which means, well, I do know that this is the magnitude squared equal, bring this over to dn dot r. The magnitude of the unit vector is 1, and so this becomes d squared equals a d. I can factor out the d from the dot product, divide both sides by d, and I get n dot r is equal to d. And this is the scalar product form of, the, of, an equa of, a of an equation of a plane. And so this is a unit vector perpendicular to the plane, pi. This is just our general vector, x, y, z. And this is the distance away from the origin. So if you wish to find the distance from the origin, make sure that this vector that's perpendicular to the plane is a unit vector, and d will be the distance away from the origin.